Hello again, everybody! Zack Attack is here with the attack line, but it's Thursday, December the 12th, 2013. Literally, because I was out shopping, you know, Christmas shopping, getting started on it. I haven't really started on it yet, but at least I'm trying to start on it. Alright, let's kick off with the entertainment news. If you didn't see my attack line yesterday, I kind of hinted towards it yesterday that the uh, Golden Globe nominations would be announced today, and they did. A lot of big surprises and snubs. Uh, we got the big film categories, the uh, best drama film. We got 12 Years a Slave, Gravity's nominated, along with Captain Phillips, Rush, Big Surprise, and Philomena. A lot of people stunned that The Butler got nothing. Because I've been seeing a lot, I saw a lot of previews when that Butler movie came out. A lot of people expected The Butler to be a huge hit at the awards season, and it never did. And it got much nominations in it. Uh, but another two big movies coming out next week. Uh, next Friday, the 20th. Got some big nominations, including, but specifically, American Hustle and uh, The Wolf of Wall, uh, Wall Street. Both nominated for Best Musical Comedy Film, along with Inside Lou and Davis, the uh, musical film, the country film, with Justin Timberlake in it, along with her and Nebraska. So, congrats to all those people. Who got nominated for those movie awards, but especially Tom Hanks nominated for Best Actor in a Drama. I think Sandra Bullock is nominated for Best Actress in Drama. But of course, the TV series is what I really care for, specifically the uh, comedy category. Uh, Modern Family wants to get nominated along with Girls, who beat Modern Family at the Golden, at the end, Golden Globes last year. 2013. Modern Revenge by winning at the Emmys. So let's see if Modern wins finally this time around against girls in the comedy and also, once again, defeats Big Bang Theory. Although I think Jim Parsons will probably win Best TV Actor. A lot of people stunned that Homeland did not get a drama nomination. The big winner of the Golden Globes last year and the Emmys did not, well, actually did not win Emmy for Best Drama. Breaking Bad won that and it'll probably win Best Drama. This year at the uh, Golden Globes. But I read about the whole main season sucking. So maybe that's why he wasn't nominated. And also, big snub. A lot of people were surprised that Orange is New Black. The Netflix series wasn't nominated for Best Drama Series. But the actress got nominated. But what I'm surprised is my mom loves Parenthood. Parenthood, I never seen nominations for at award shows. Yet uh, Monica Potter, the blonde mom of Parenthood, is going up in Best Supporting Actress. In a TV series against Sophia Bulgaria, the only modern family actress nominated for something. I think after all the men and the and Julie lost at the Emmys, I think modern family did not want to go up for Golden Globes because they lost Golden Globes as well as lost the Emmys after dominance at the Emmys for Best Actor, Supporting Actors, and Actress nominations. They've won those, but not this year. Because who did he lose to? I think, uh, I forget who won in those supporting actors and actor nominations that beat Modern Family the Emmys. So there you go. That is the, uh, nominations for the Golden Globes. And, uh, nominations, of course, the awards will take place. I forgot the day. Fuck, when are they? Uh, I know they're on a Sunday. They're on a Sunday. I forgot the day. Uh,. Things like January something. And Amy Schum, Amy Poehler, who's show box in the recreation nominated. She's hosting again along with Tina Fey. Awesome. I'm glad they're back. January 12th. So can't wait for that. And I mentioned Modern, speaking of Modern. My thoughts on the Modern Family Christmas episode last night. I think it's all about help these days. But this episode, very great Christmas episode last night for Modern. Um... Uh, it was like all these situations, like like Jay and Manny were trying to cut a tree and unsuccessfully messing up. Uh, literally wanted this house, this puppy pound. I think they didn't want to say pound puppies because it trademarked. And I remember like they were like this needy thing, a fundraiser. For, they thought it was a fundraiser for the needy, but this is an event. I mean, they thought it was a fundraiser to benefit the needy, but this is an event for the needy. And, Literally got a puppy pal, but she gave it to somebody. That was kind of nice. Some great moments in this episode. 
especially with Haley and Alex trying to move out of the wound. The like they had once again the weakest storyline of the week. I've been feeling it. Alex and Haley has not been giving anything sufficient lately. That the, the storylines have been weak. Although Haley didn't look good at elf outfit. Anyway, Alex an okay Mrs. Claus, but still anyway. Uh like Haley was gonna finally move out of the wound with Alex, but at the end of the episode, they kind of got together. And that's what happened at the end of the episode. Once again, it came together like a family. Like every other episode, we made more because it's Christmas. Uh, January 8th, new episodes return. Now, speaking of Christmas, on with another Christmas show on last night, Duck Dynasty's Christmas special. <laughs> Boom the chain. That was funny as hell. Duck Dynasty Christmas special last night. Especially Psy. Frank and Scent doing the uh, nativity practice. Frank and Scent. That got, that got me laughing for like a long damn time. Got, that got me buzzing laughing. So, uh, so there you go. And I liked all the side doing that. And Willie and Jace trying to find Christmas gifts. Yet they got the same thing for their wives a photo, a portrait. And like the nativity play it was kind of funny as well. We're all singing, they're all singing. Kind of a play on their Christmas album. And uh, I knew it was going to be a ratings hit. And I know Kelly Clarkson's Christmas special was on last night as well. I watched a little bit of that, but it was on the same time for his Duck Dynasty. And I knew Duck was going to rule the ratings. What's it going to do? 9 million viewers for the Duck Dynasty Christmas special. It was up from the season finale back in October of season 4. Congrats to Duck. Among adults 18 to 49, it brought in 4.5 million viewers in that age range. And it was up 12% of ratings. And uh, the new season, January 15th, the week after the modern. So it would be a great way to kick off the Dark Dynasty season premiere of season 5, January 15th, the week before Modern Family returns with new episodes. Of course, 9, Modern at 80. I mean, ABC on Wednesday did it again for a second day in a while. I guess I said 80 for Modern. And 80 is stuck. 10 o'clock Wednesdays. Starting January 15th for them. Uh, that is it. It was a little brief attack line. See you all later with that in mind. You've all been attacked by the news from Zach. Thank you for watching. See you all later. Yeah.